I'm a very, very happy man. I just got in the mail the first run of the uh, G80S Micro version 1.0 boards. They look great. Um, I actually just got done building one, and of course I have it running, and I'll show you uh, that here in just a moment. Of course you can tell it's, as far as the BIOS goes, it's the same thing that you've been seeing. But yeah, now I got the boards done, and um, of course you can see that the silk screen has been updated. It looks a little bit better now. And of course there's a couple things that I probably need to go back and change. Um, you know, for example, uh, I, I probably don't need the 2,5,4 up here and things like that. And of course, I probably need to go ahead and wait, get uh, get rid of the um, silk screen for the uh, header for the uh, PIO port. But whatever the case is, um, they look great. Um, and of course, the uh, board has been updated with the resistor 6, R6, which uh, allows the um, Dart or the SIO0 to uh, be able to use interrupts. Aside from that, the board is for the most part unchanged with the exception of the silk screen and the updated um, you know, um, uh, IEI line. Um, same board, same layout, it just actually looks better now. It doesn't look like garbage. So, I have here um, the COM port and I'm running one of the new PCBs at this time. And of course, um, I've just got it sitting here on the desk. And of course, uh, I probably need to actually finish soldering some stuff. It doesn't have the Z80 pins soldered in at this moment. But um, yeah, this is the first one. And like I said, it's um, functionally identical to the beta board. It's just, I, uh, you know, the beta board, you had to have the bodge resistor. But aside from that, it's up to date. Uh, this version 1.0, it's good to go. So let's go ahead and restart it. And as we can see, we're back up to uh, the monitor here. Of course, we can go to basic and, um, you know, we can print hello world, or just hello in this case. Hello. And if we quit and go back to the monitor, it works just fine. No problems with it whatsoever. Everything seems to work absolutely perfectly on it. Um, you know, assuming you actually do your job and solder everything correctly. Uh, but yeah, the brand new board it works just fine. I haven't had a single problem with it since I started using it about 20 minutes ago. And I will try to have those up on the store front at my website as soon as possible. The one thing holding me back is I would like to offer these with the resistors and the capacitors. And the reason for that being is because it makes it easier if you don't have to source those types of things. Yeah, you know that you're going to have to get the ICs, but the issue that I'm having is I only have maybe enough capacitors for three or four more boards, and I've got an order coming to me, but it's just taking a little while to get here. Um, I ordered, you know, a couple thousand capacitors and resistors, so I should have enough for, you know, all the boards. That shouldn't be a problem whatsoever. But again, the biggest issue is I just don't have them right now. But I've got a total of about 40 boards. It was a small run. So, like I said, I'm going to try to get those up on the website as soon as possible. And then I should be getting in the next day or two the prototype boards. And the prototype boards will be uh, the boards that have the uh, I guess the prototyping area with the um, SD card, um, you know, the micro SD uh, spot on already on it. It's already got a place for the footprint, anyways. So that should be fun to try to get that going and start trying to get some file handling up and going. Once I do, and of course, once I also get a couple other things, for example, video and things like that, I'm going to release a whole new shield for the top of it or expansion board, daughter board, whatever you want to call it. But um, there are going to be a couple more boards that get released. And of course, I'm working on a larger version of this that incorporates all of that into one board, but that's months down the road. I mean, we're talking about maybe a year down the road before I'm going to have that finalized, because that's actually going to have quite a bit of stuff on it. Um, we're talking about adding, um, you know, some things, uh, for example, uh, you know, extra RAM, that way you can bank in and out of it and use CPM, and of course it'll also have the SD on there as well as a couple other things. I'm looking at a couple uh, VDUs. I've actually got an idea as far as being able to provide graphics that are compatible with MSX and still be able to offer 80 column um, 
for text mode. It's a, kind of a graphics hack that I'm looking at. We'll give you more information on that whenever I actually have a working prototype. But it is something that's in the works. Aside from that, though, um, I'm still plugging away, trying to uh, do some code as far as getting um, Tiny Basic ready for release. I plan on trying to do that here within the next couple weeks. And of course, the biggest issue is finding the time. Um, you know, I, for those that don't know, I tend to work on the weekends quite a bit. So whether or not I have time on the weekends or in the evening to actually write any code is hit or miss. So we're just kind of taking our time. We're going over it piece by piece and just um, updating videos whenever we have a moment. But if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment below. Also, check out the website over the next couple days. I hope to get these things up on the store within the next couple days, but it just depends on whether or not I end up getting these um, capacitors and resistors in. I may throw them up there with just a disclaimer saying, hey, I don't have this. If you order early, you may end up having to purchase your own capacitors and resistors. They're not bad. They're 0805s, um, 100 nanofarad, and, of course, uh, 10 kilo ohm for the resistors. You need six resistors. You need 16 capacitors. So not a big deal. Um, but yeah, again, if you have any questions, you know how to hit me up, either on the website or um, in the comments below. I try to answer all questions as I can, but um, if I do take a day or two getting back to you, just um, be patient. I'll do it as I can. All right. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll try to upload another video before the weekend's over. All right? Have a good day.